So I haven't put up a video in a couple weeks and that's because I've been really busy. They demonetized me, so there's not really an incentive to post stuff. So I'm just gonna post videos when I have stuff to share. And this month I'm doing something interesting, a stuff fast. So no big purchases in April. No car parts, just trying to get away from stuff. You know, decontaminate a little bit because I, I don't know, ugh. Well, I came out here and I saw this dust. It looked like drywall dust. Dust down here, down here. It's like, what is that? I looked up and I realized that this bracing had uh, lost a bolt. And I looked around and I found the bolt. And unfortunately, the trajectory of the bolt was such that it landed right on the, you guessed it, on the car. This little corner right here must have hit right here. Right to the paint, right to the clear coat. That's a, that's a chip. That's a nasty one. And then on the way down, it also it chipped out a little piece here in the handle. That is my first paint nick. This is maybe a good reason to do expel on the doors. I didn't, I didn't expel the doors. I couldn't have been that bolt. That bolt would have been fine. Trying to see what went wrong here. This was just screwed in the drywall and eventually this pulled out and uh, the rest is, as they say, history. Uh, just in case anyone wants some evidence that this is just drywall, I will run this screwdriver all the way through. See, there's, there's no stud back there. I have made a repair to my garage door bracket. I use one of these. It's called a stud finder. Uh, my home builder should probably hire people who use these. This is in a stud now, Home Building 101. If it's holding weight, screw it into a stud. I decided I'm gonna go ahead and touch up that chip myself and I went over to my dealer and I got some touch up paint. This is the white color, this is the white paint. And then this bottle has the metallic flakes in it. And then this is the clear coat. These are the remnants of uh, my work. Let's see, there's a lot of stuff going on here. Um, the, uh, the repair went mediocrely. Uh, the biggest issue I ran into was that the, uh, the colors provided in the touch-up kit by Porsche did not match. I don't think it'd be bad if uh, it was the right color. So the color's the real issue. Uh, so I'm gonna try a couple more things and see if I can get that worked out. My Monster Energy drink matches my car's paint better than the Porsche touch-up paint. I ordered a Dr. Color chip, so I'm gonna try that. I don't know about that. I guess you don't know till you know. All right, we'll paint a spot and see how it looks. Uh, after letting this dry and giving it a quick little polish, uh, it's definitely not the right color. It is uh, very silver. Uh, again, this has been a hard color to match. Uh, my touch of paint, uh, over here from Porsche uh, is a much better match. You can't really see it very well. I mixed the metallic paint chips and the white together, and this is sort of what I ended up with. It's not opaque, so I think some of the color from beneath comes through, and that's what makes it a uh, better match. But yeah, the Dr. Color chip, uh, unfortunately, is not uh, a good match at all. What ended up working the best is I actually mixed these two colors together. I took some of the white paint just a little bit of the white paint and I mix that into the metallic paint, which is almost kind of a clear glaze. And that is what created the color that matched the best and you still have that nice metallic effect after you do the touch up. So that's what I did. I don't know if you're supposed to, I couldn't find any directions on how to apply this paint online, but I mixed them together. So maybe that will help somebody else. Also one thing that really helped me, this is a Duplicolor touch up pen, but these pens have this little sander at the top. It's sort of shaped like a pen. And this was really useful for sanding down the edges of my chip because you don't want sharp edges. Those remain very visible when you do a touch up. So this little sander here uh, was a really good tool. Uh, in my opinion, the best way to get the paint flat is after you apply it, you let it dry for a few minutes and then you use nail polish remover on a rag and you just brush it over your paint glob and it smooths it out. Um, I know there's some people who are going to say don't do that, but I, I think it worked really well. When you're done, get a rag with water. Just make sure you get all that nail polish remover off. 
uh, and then it evaporates too, so I, I don't see it as an issue. After the paint was smoothed out, I used Scratch X to kind of blend it into the surrounding clear coat and to give it a nice finish, a nice polished finish. Uh, and that worked really well too. From three feet away, I'd say the repair looks pretty good. Um, yeah, I'm happy with how it turned out. I'll zoom in here on the repair. And at some point, it'll become pretty noticeable because the color is different. You can see it hanging out right there. If the color match was better, uh, I don't even think you could see it, but could not get that color matched. So we're gonna call it good for the time being. I just wanted to make it so it wasn't visible while I was getting into the car. So I think I achieved that. If it doesn't hold up particularly well, maybe I'll take it to a body shop or I'll just keep retouching it up. Well, of course, if I keep doing that indefinitely, eventually I'll remove the clear coat from the door and then I'll have to have it repainted. What I don't want is for them to come in here to repaint it and start blending into the other body panels. Overall, I'm pretty happy with the touch up. Obviously, I wish it hadn't happened, um, but uh, but you never know when bolts are gonna fall from heaven. Just a reminder, God hates Porsches. Look, there's another seat belt. Um, the one that was in there was having a problem in making the airbag light come on. So MA Carbon was nice enough to send me this new one, but I've got to put it in. Oh, always something. Might be time for a new car soon.